This tutorial is to show you how to remove the BIOS password on a satellite L305D laptop. Um, if you turn on your laptop and it comes up with an intercurrent password, as soon as you turn it on, that means that you have a BIOS password set. If you type something up on this keyboard, it gives you three chances. And then on the third chance, on the third uh, time, it actually goes into a black screen, and it uh, does. There's no activity, if you can tell from here. So this is the process on how to remove the password. First, make sure to turn off your laptop. Disconnect it from the power source. Uh, flip the laptop over. Take out the battery. Okay. Then you want to remove the memory module. Uh, if you have two, to remove both modules. Then you want to remove the battery, just to be safe that there is no damage going to the battery. Uh, the actual hard drive since you're going to be turning on and off the computer <clears throat> and you could damage the laptop and okay once you have removed the battery compartment the hard drive and the memory you're going to notice there's a jumper uh, right here and it's B500 I believe yeah B500 is what the jumper is this is the jumper you're going to be working with this is the BIOS jumper here. Uh, this laptop, particular laptop, doesn't have that, that black film that actually covers this. Uh, you might have to peel it off on some laptops to expose this, this area. And I'm going to show you how to actually jumper this and reset the password. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a Cat5 cable and kind of the same as the other video. And, um, and strip it so it's kind of get get one about the, this size so I guess that's probably about four or five inches long uh, once you do that uh, I have one done here and then just strip the ends so you're gonna kind of use this as a as a jumper um, I tried a paper clip earlier and it did, that didn't seem to work correctly so this worked with the other laptops so I'm gonna try it with this one as well so what you do now is you kind of uh, position uh, the jumper where you're going to be jumpering and kind of put it on there and connect the power and hold the two jumpers and then turn the computer on and then you should see it Wait till the Toshiba logo comes up, disappears, then remove the jumper from it, and then flip the laptop over, and you should have no bootable device. Insert boot disk and press any key to continue. So now we know that we had successfully removed, successfully removed the jumper, I mean the, the BIOS password. Now you can insert the rest of your devices so put put the drive in the hard drive okay since you have successfully done it you pat yourself on the back say good job you have done it you're not paying Toshiba any money to, for them to do this now put the memory back. I actually put the memory on the top to do the jumper. So put the memory back um, into the system. So here we go. Now here. And there we go. Now put the battery back on. Now everything's there. Everything's put in. Now that you have put everything back, the hard drive, the memory, uh, now you're going to turn it on 
this is a customer's laptop, so I don't know exactly in what condition it came in. It might have a, a bad drive, so let's see what happens. If you're successful, you shouldn't have to, uh, you shouldn't see a password coming up. So yeah, there you go. So it's, you're set. It actually works perfectly. Now, now we have successfully uh, removed the BIOS password from a Toshiba L305D. Now if you do not get to this point and before you get here you, you actually get uh, a hard drive password and HDD password then you probably also have a laptop that has password set on the hard drive. In those cases if uh, if you don't have the money you might want to be able to, you might want to look for a third party tool to actually remove the hard drive password. I know that Hitachi doesn't have anything yet. I haven't found one. If uh, anyone knows of a tool to remove passwords on a Hitachi drive then they can contact me but this this one seems to be fine. Everything works okay. Again let's turn it on. I mean uh, the, looks like the operating system is corrupt but that's something that can be re you know, fixed with a reinstalled or restored but if you get to that point you should be fine okay that pretty much ends this tutorial of how to reset or remove a password from a satellite L305D again thanks and subscribe uh, to my channel please and uh, that will help me a lot and I will be putting more videos as I start getting laptops or things that I know that people will actually need help on. And again, no money goes to Toshiba. Use that money to take your wife out to a nice dinner. Thank you and bye.